Hi. So today what we're going to be doing is looking at Boyle's Law. Now, Boyle's Law looks at the relationship between pressure and volume. So to begin with, why don't we take a look down here. Now, Boyle's Law, again, deals with the relationship between pressure and volume. Now, what we're going to do is just work through a really simple example to show you the basic workings of this example. So, let's take a look first at this. Uh, what we're going to really need to do is figure out first what our variables are going to be. So whether we have pressure 1, volume 1, volume 2, pressure 2, whatever we're dealing with. We have to identify that from the problem. So, what I recommend we do is take a look here and first thing, let's just identify some variables. Now, let's assume that our pressure 1 is 3 atmospheres. Our volume 1 is 2, 2 liters. Our pressure 2 is equal to 5 atmospheres. And our volume 2 is what we are trying to solve for. Now, what we need to do once we have this is actually plug them back into the original equation. So, let's take a look here at our equation. We're going to plug in 3 atmospheres, 2 liters. And that's equal to 5 atmospheres and then we are solving for volume two. So as you can see, the basic plan here now will be to solve for volume two. So let's do that. Three times two, and we again, and just so you know, we can ignore units as far as I'm concerned here for our class because we know we have our volume in liters, so we should be able to just look and say, okay, our next volume should be in liters as well. So let's do this. Three times two is equal to what? Six, that's equal to five then, times V2, and this is just a math problem now, so you divide by 5, divide by 5, those cancel out. Your new equation should look something like this. So, finally all you need to do now is solve 6 divided by 5, and that's equal to V2. So, that is equal to 1.2, and that's our V2. However, there's one thing we need to make sure we put in there, and that's our units. So if you think about this, our initial volume was in liters, so our final volume should be in liters as well. So the answer is 1.2 liters. 